You gotta swirl it. Oh, okay. Smell it. <laughs> this is my wine tasting expert. Taste it. <laughs> okay. I'm like feeling like a head buzz. You are? Get it. Get into it. You like it. Wow, classy lady. Okay, down the hatch. Say good morning to the vlog. It's Saturday, bright and early. We're out of the house before 9 a.m. No. What time is it? 9.20. 9.20. That's impressive for me on a Saturday. We are at breakfast and we got our pumpkin cream cold brew. This is my order in case you guys care. I just get one pump of vanilla. It normally has, I think, three in the grande. Marcus it. gets it normal. No, I think it's three. Four in this big one, I think. So I've seen people get no vanilla, which I want to try, but I just couldn't today. I just needed the one little pump. So we're at one of our favorite breakfast places, Paul's Place. I don't know if they're only in California. Are they only in California? Okay, well, if you're in California, you should go. She ordered some breakfast and we're going to the farmer's market. Fun! Okay, got our breakfast. It has to be in a little to-go thing like this. All right, we're walking up. I look like I'm like incognito with my sunglasses and my hat and my mask. It's like covering my whole face. We're at the Old Town Orange Farmer's Market. It's one of our faves. Show you guys a little bit of it. Morning. Morning. The little one. Morning. Guten Morgen to all. Maybe the oh, it's the spinach dip. If that guy's here, I want to get some dip. Feels like a very fall morning. We got our pumpkin cream cold brews. It's chilly out. It's a little gloomy. Okay, mini farmer's market haul. Didn't get a ton of stuff. We were actually pretty quick in and out there. I just got like what I know that I love. They didn't have, I would say not all the vendors were there. It was pretty full, but um, it seemed a little bit smaller than usual. This is what I'm wearing. This coat is from BB Dakota. I got it at the Nordstrom sale. It's so nice. It's like um, very warm and I took the opportunity to wear it because it was a little chilly this morning, but it's like like almost like a wool kind of coat, I think you would describe it as. It's like a really pretty flannel and it's really long and oversized. I'm wearing it with um, biker shorts, if you can see, my aloe biker shorts and my um, Princess Polly little like tie t-shirt. It's actually kind of hot, so I'm gonna take this off and my hat is Nike and Ellie's right here. <laughs> so first things first, farmer's market necessity, eggs. Um, they have the best eggs there because they're like super fresh and just totally hit different. Um, and then these, first thing we picked up actually, um, these dips. This one stand called Sola Foods. They have these amazing dips. Um, we've had both of these before. They do three for 20. So we got these spinach artichoke dips that we're going to eat today. I'm probably going to heat them up honestly because I like like a, a warm spinach dip. Maybe we'll like bake it for a little bit, get a little browned top that sounds good um so we got both of these and then this one is one that i hadn't tried i think it's their best seller they said balsamic feta let me open it up show you guys if you can see looks pretty good looks like feta cheese <laughs> like a feta cheese with vinaigrette okay now i have it all over my hands i feel like we also weren't there super long because um of everything going on you know you can't really like sample everything like you normally can which Kind of sucks. I um, mean, then I just got a random bunch of carrots. I want to make like celery and carrot juice. Um, I didn't really get a ton of vegetables. I just didn't really need anything right now. Um, this was kind of a more like spontaneous, fun trip to the farmer's market. I didn't need a bunch of produce. So I just picked these up because I didn't have any. And I always love to get carrots from the farmer's market. And then these are the gems of the trip that are absolute necessity. I was going to be really sad if she wasn't there with these nuts. So. These are from the Sunny Cal Farmer's Market. Um, that's what it says on there. But this is the Old Town Orange Farmer's Market. It's just like a produce stand with like a bunch of nuts. But these are so good. These coconut roast almonds. If you guys remember my What I Eat in a Day, I got those coconut cashews from Trader Joe's that I love so much. But I kind of um, got them because I thought they would taste 
like these that I get at the farmer's market and they weren't as good. They were still really bomb, but these are like the OG originals, so good. So they did these three bags, three for 33, which is kind of expensive, but you know, it's like homemade local stuff. And then I got these jumbo golden raisins. I had never tried these before. Again, we'd normally be able to try like all the nuts and it's like really fun to try everything out. Um, but I had never tried these before. The girl just recommended them to me because she said they taste like candy. So we'll see about that. Maybe I'll try one now. Um, see what it tastes like. That's actually really good. I'm not really a raisin person, so it's kind of random that I got these, but these don't really even taste like raisins to me. It does kind of taste like I got gummy candy. That's really good. So that's my mini haul. We'll probably make a big Sunday brunch with this tomorrow. We were kind of thinking we would get stuff for breakfast to eat today, but um, we decided to have Paul's place on the way over there. So, so yeah, that is my mini farmer's market haul. Okay, you guys are probably wondering what the heck is going on here, but we have something really fun we're doing today. Marcus and I are gonna do a little wine tasting. He's currently watching football. He'll be down in a minute when I tell him that I'm done with this little introduction here. Um, I'm so excited. So this is from In Good Taste, and this is the California Wine Mixer. When they reached out to me, I thought it was a really fun idea. This isn't sponsored. They just sent it to me for free to share with you guys, but um, they're not paying me to talk about them at all. I'm just really, really excited about this. Um, so this is In Good Taste. Like I said, I'm gonna link their stuff below. We basically get to have a whole wine tasting experience from home, and I'm really excited. They even sent over a little booklet that has information about all of the wines, how to pronounce it correctly, which is important for me, um, what you need to know about it, like little background, where it's from, um, the alcohol content, what food it pairs best with. So basically like everything you would learn about the wines you tried if you went to a winery and did this. So I'm really excited. Marcus and I have only been wine tasting once and I've been wanting to go again. Um, so this is fun. So I'm gonna call him out here because we're ready. So he's gonna have to bring his laptop down here to watch some football or his iPad or whatever because he's literally watching like three games at once right now. But let's get this going. I'm gonna put this on ice actually because I like like a chilled wine. I don't know about you guys. I like things to be cold. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna get going. It's gonna be fun. We have Marcus. Are you ready to try some wine? Yes, I am. You are? Okay, let's figure out an angle here that works. You're gonna get um, some avocado. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Yes. Gorgeous. What would you do without me? I don't know. We're going to get schnacks. Okay, hold on. So, I don't have like 10 glasses of for the wine, at, like what you would do at a wine tasting place. Like, you know, they always come and take your glass and yeah. give you a new one. Um, I have four that are like matching somewhat. I have other ones, but they're not really the vibe. Um, so, I have these two ones. These are going to be for like white wine and there is one rosé. And then these will be for the red wines. Gorgeous. Okay, La Pluma Sauvignon Blanc is the first one we're trying. San Luis Obispo, 2000. What? San Luis Obispo. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm gonna run that back. <laughs> you said San Luis Obispo? Like, San Luis like... Obispo. Gorgeous. 2009. How about you read this? I'll do this. Okay. 2019, San Luis Obispo, California, pronounced Sauvignon Blanc. Can you say it with me? Okay, what you need to know, our Sabi B is one bad chick. Its mouth-watering acidity is the ultimate thirst quencher, like summer mezcal cocktail. You can kick back and sip this white wine on the porch, beach, or virtual happy hour. Tastes like smoky grapefruit, feels like your old prom dress, slash tuxedo. A power couple with sushi or goat cheese, and it's been aged six months in stainless steel. Ooh and it's an absolutely stunning queen of a bottle. Okay, so what is the proper amount for a taste? I guess just like a sip? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna do what we learned when we went wine tasting? Are you um, gonna spit yours out in the bucket? Absolutely not, I'm getting hammered. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, this is, this is my, I mean. Smell? Oh. Should we rank them? Like, or rate them? Rate them. I'm giving that a 10. <laughs> I'm generous. <laughs> First one, 10. No, that one's really good. I actually really love that. And I'm not being dramatic. I, I'm a white wine kind of girl. So I'm very into that. We're gonna save that. We can come back and drink some more if we want. Yeah. We should um, like put them in order like. Yes, queen, okay. What's in number order. Two say? Number two is a Chardonnay. 
I like white wine, but Chardonnay is kind of sus. It's Fortune Flavors Chardonnay. I think it's the one with the green thing. What you need to know, the crisp, clean Chardonnay couldn't be more different from your typical Napa buttery shard. That is what we're talking about. Feels like showing up to a baby shower totally just tastefully tipsy. That's kind of a vibe. Who likes baby it's showers? kind of the mood I'm trying to be in right it's now. It's kind of the vibe I'm trying to be. You're trying to be tipsy? Should we wash this? And just no, 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 no. no. Uh oh. Just yeah, that's good. Cheers. We didn't even cheers the first one. Cheers. That is not it. Okay, ready? I like that actually. That is that is not like most Chardonnay I've had before. Chardonnay is usually like, you know. No, I do not know. You've never had Chardonnay? Not really. Oh. Okay. I know I may be hasty, but I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, first one I gave a ten because I always start off really strong. This eight. Eight. I'm for giving me. like eight. Eight point five. Okay. Next up, Stealing Thunder Rosé of Grenache. Grenache. You do the water. And I'll okay. Lovely. And what is it? Rosé. The pink one. The hint. Tastes like blood orange and cantaloupe. Awesome. Sounds delicious. Feels like winning best dress at a costume party. Have you ever won best dress? Um, at a costume party. Uh, we all know you won best dress in sixth grade. Third grade. Third grade, sorry. Miss Grand Myers, Arizona, best dress. <laughs> A power couple with fruit, salsa, or Indian curry. Interesting. That is looking like that kind of color. Okay. Beautiful. Cute. Do we show the bottle? Cute bottle. Cutesy, cutesy bottle. Gorgeous. Stunning queen. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ready? You gotta swirl it. Oh, okay. Smell it. <laughs> this is my wine tasting expert. That smells good. That's my kind of smell. I just love the smell of wine. Taste it. <laughs> okay. I just realized like we were like chugging the last few sips, like just like shotting them. Mm. This one's good. Mm. Blood, blood orange. Blood orange and cantaloupe. You can taste the blood orange? No. <laughs> Oh, it's like, wow, I'm so impressed. Um, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, these are all wines I would really just happily destroy the bottle myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving that a nine. Nine, five. The first one was 10. The second one You gave for the first me, one a 10 too? First one, the second one for me was eight. The third one's nine, five. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to get a little rinse through. Next up. We have a Pinot Noir, Stealing Thunder. What makes it wild? Ooh. Bold, smooth, and suave like James Bond. Don't let light body Pinots trick you into thinking they'll be weakly flavored. The best Pinots, like ours, pack a punch. This Pinot was earthy and rugged as the Mon Mon Monterey region it grew up in. Oh, okay, so it's from Monterey. I just, I've really just fumbled my words a lot right there, sorry. <laughs> Love this, Monterey, by the way. Love Monterey, <laughs> love, by the way. Love Monterey. Love Big Little Lies. Big fan. <laughs> big fan. <laughs> this Pinot is an earthy... Wait. <laughs> the best Pinot, like ours, pack a punch. This Pinot is as earthy as the rugged... As rugged as Monterey. <laughs> Don't you to read that? <laughs> I was trying to say it better. Okay, whatever. You guys get what I mean. Okay. Tastes like dark plum. Wait for this one. Mushroom. Mushroom. An earthy flavor. <laughs> ordering a protein. Oh, it feels like ordering a protein style double double. That's my kind of vibe right there. I'd be ordering protein style double doubles all day. Uh, power couple with chicken or brie cheese. Age 10 months in American oak. Okay, ready? Smell. Oh, sorry. Hmm, smells interesting. Better than I thought. Yeah. I like that. It's like you have to think about it. It's like. Here's some legs. Oh yeah. The legs are here. It's like smooth. We're such wine tasters. We went once. <laughs> it is way smoother than I expected. When I smelled it, I was like, ooh. 
but it is really smooth. Smooth. For a red eight five. I mean, I liked it. Yeah, I'd probably give it an eight. Okay. Balance of powers, red blend. I like a red blend. Let's clean this up. I'll clean things out. Oh, I'm gonna go back to this one. <laughs> Stat. Cute bottle. Is this gonna be backwards? No. Think so. Pronounce, you got this one. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Like, if you need help pronouncing red blend, you need help. Okay, what you need to know. Zinfandel is a California grape through and through. I hope I'm saying that right. Chewy and ripe. It makes our highest alcohol content wine. Yes, sir. So get wild. Tastes like ripe cherry licorice and white pepper. Interesting. Feels like your best friend from high school, meaning your best friend from college. A power couple with kebabs or manchego cheese age 16 months and it's a 2018 wine pour it up get wild like they said i love these little bottles they're so petite and cute sorry <laughs> like this See you pouring more for me. <laughs> Are you ready? Swirl. Swirl. I see some legs. Sniff. I like that smell. This is from. This is from Sonoma. Sonoma. I can tell. They know their wine, huh? Yeah, barely. Ready? Hmm. I like that. It's not super bitter or strong, which is what I like. I don't really like when, I feel like I don't typically drink red wine because some of them are so like potent. Strong, yeah. I gave it an eight, I think. Yeah, probably eight, five for me. Stealing Thunder, Syrah. Okay, well I broke a glass, so. <laughs> Cheers, guys. So that's my white wine glass is ruined and my new crate and barrel glass. It's not new, I've had it for a few. I bought it at the beginning of quarantine, actually, when I was drinking a lot of wine. It's okay, it's okay, I'm not letting it ruin my vibe. I'm picking up the glass later. Hey. <laughs> I'm like feeling like a head buzz. You are? Get it, get into it. Embrace it, I'm just kidding. Okay, Syrah. Say it with me, Syrah. Syrah. From Mendocino, California, 2018. What you need to know, need to know. A little buzz. Syrah smells peppery because it is. It shares the same compound as a peppercorn, making it a perfect pair with barbecue. Ooh, tastes like blueberry, olive, and dark chocolate. Feels like you're in a Jason Aldean music video. This may be more my vibe than yours. Probably. <laughs> Paired with barbecue pork or gouda, age 16 months, period. It's a little bit, this is like, this is the kind of thing that it's good. It's not particularly my favorite kind of wine. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that tastes better the more and more you drink it. And when you start snacking, it's really good with like food. Like yours up 11. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, what do we rate that? Sorry if it's getting a little dark. It's getting dark outside. So is my mind, I'm getting I'm definitely feeling it. So am I, I, I just all of a sudden in that one, yeah. I really felt a buzz right there. Probably give it a seven, five. Oh. So I'm giving it a seven. Not because it's not good, because it's just not my particular favorite yeah. kind of vibe. But it's good. I love this label, Fortune Flavors, that's so cute. The other one was green, loved it. Okay, what you need to know. Wait, say it with me. Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Sauvignon, sorry. Sauvignon. Not Sauvignon. 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 2018, Paso Robles, California. A power couple with steak or gouda? Gouda. <laughs> I know, I don't know why I said it like that. I love gouda cheese. You like gouda? I love a smoked gouda moment. I don't recall gouda. We, I always have it. It's the one that's like has like the mold mold no the the like darker outer oh. no oh, I'm getting buzzed. It smells strong it does that's and you give me a <laughs> nice heavy pour and i'm too. already a little buzzed taste see 
tea, that's another thing that I like. I, I like that, and I feel like I drink that, but that's another kind that, like, I just love white wine. This one was smooth mm. to me. Like, easy it is. to drink. It is smooth. It is smooth to me. <laughs> it was. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. Wow, classy lady. Yeah, I like this one. Paso Robles. Wow. No aftertaste. Straight to the point. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> you guys need a spokesperson? <laughs> okay, down the hatch. I would give them a, a nine. I like that one a lot. Gorgeous. So you love a Cabaret Sauvignon? Of course. Okay, last one. Wrapping it up. Balance of Powers, Napa Valley Cabaret Sauvignon. Oh, so we just tried that one, so we can see which one we prefer. The last and one it, I gave was, it, I, I like, gave it a seven. I like the night. Wait, the I gave one. it a seven and yeah. that was your favorite one? My favorite red one. Why was I so harsh? A seven? Yeah. Jeez, okay. You're tough. <laughs> Feels like your Meryl Streep in Devil Wears Prada and Probably, that's on period. Yeah. Um, a power couple with steak or Gouda, aged 26 months. We got this an old head old on our one. hands. Four years. Okay, let's. 26 months is four years. Almost four years. Round up. Loves. 12 months in a year, that's 24 <laughs> months. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's three never years. wrong about math. That was a very rare three, correction three years. moment. Wow. It's the wine. Not even almost three years, that's two and a half years. Bubs, what in the two, heck is going on? <laughs> two years and two months. Gosh, <laughs> oh, you're spilling. Okay, ready? Yeah, so. Mm, I love that smell. Taste. Mm. That one's smooth. I like as this well. one better than the last one. I'd say it's a tad bit better than the Oh, this the is last a 2017 one. as well. That's where I got the three years from. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> that yeah, is very I like good. This one. I like this one. I'm giving this one a nine. Number one still has my heart. Wait, see. how many wines do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, eight. Huh? Eight. Oh, I <laughs> counted the glass? <laughs> Am I okay? What in the hell? Yeah. I don't know how to count either right now. That's good. I would say it's tied with the last one. pair well with Gouda, it's very good. What? Gouda. Oh my, I'm, I'm, this is not okay. Can you cook dinner? I can cook dinner. I'm just kidding. It's a good buzz. Is it? Look at how how more generous you got. Look at this one. Look at this. What in the hell is that about? That was awesome. I'm like I couldn't recommend that more. I know I'm like working with them, and it's like ooh, like everyone like feels a certain way, like no, as if was, I'm like, promoting really, it. Really good. That was really fun. I really liked all of them, and I definitely recommend that. I'm gonna link it below for you guys if you want to pick it up. I believe I do have a discount code, so I'll put that in the description box and up on the screen. Definitely uh, try it. So, it, was, yeah. it was a lot of fun. I will probably order one, like for us, another one. Yeah, let's look what other ones they have. Yeah, that was so much fun. Wow. Maybe we could do, maybe next time, we could do another one, and maybe we could do like another Q and A while we wine taste. Good. How does that sound? And I'm probably going to end the Buzz vlog here too. because I don't want this to get too long. We are going to have dinner after this, but we're probably just going to turn the camera off maybe because I'm a little bit buzzed. Um, and that was really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know um, what you thought about the video. What else did we do today? We went to the farmer's market. Farmer's market. The wine tasting really stole the show. But that was so much fun. We broke a glass, a glass in the process. Um, Marcus forgot how to do math in the process. Um, I'm buzzed in the process <laughs> and it's getting dark so we love you guys and we will see you in the next one we have the Laker gamer going right here I just saw it like flash on me but um, I, I need I need someone to wrap this up for me because I'm gonna just gonna go all day if we have Lakers and five Lakers and fives